typical Martin. Yes, good morning and um, welcome, welcome to Tato Pub. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, welcome to another Coast of Crazy vlog here on YouTube. Yes, we're at Tato Park. First time ever um, being, come to Ireland. Uh, really excited actually for the Kuka Lane. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a gravity group wooden coaster. And um, yeah, it'll only be the third one I've ever been on. That's if it's open because Charlotte's been here before. And got spiders. It wasn't open. No. No, good. It was good. covered in ice. It was covered in ice, yeah. no way. And there was only that coaster there, nothing else, One flat, two flat rides and then that yeah. was it. So just went to the zoo all day. Zoo all day. <laughs> yes, that's it, she says there is a zoo here as well. There is only three coasters here. I've actually put this trip coming here off for, for a while actually because the Kuka Lane was built a few years ago. Again, I need to check it on the database because I'm hopeless and I forget when it was built. It was a few years ago, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. um, and there was nothing else here. There was a couple of flat rides, a little zoo, some kids stuff, and the got the um, crisp factory as well, because obviously Tato Park, they make Tato crisps. Uh, so we get that as well. Um, but there wasn't really much else here. So recently they built, opened up Flight Skill, which is a Ziera, coaster Zira. or Zira yeah I think it's Zira Zira coaster and then you've got a little SBF spinning coaster as well called the Ladybird so we've got three credits here today um, plus there's a few flat rides there's a few that I might not bother going on it's basically the uh, Zamperla collection like they've got at Dreamland so you've got the rot is it rotator I think no, it's that's, called that's that there. That's, um, oh they've got SBF. that oh is it yeah. I thought there was Zamperlas the Endeavour well, it's is... the same as the one at sort of Adventure Island, which you know. Yeah. The Endeavour's Amperla. Yeah, yeah, well, it's is. part Amperla, which is not Yeah, totally... which is like Dreamcatcher. Yeah, it's not totally it's... Um, yeah. Amperla. It's owned well, by another country, company as well. I think yeah, it's Italian, so is it? It's by another country. Well, there's a few, there's a, there's a few flat rides, <laughs> and we've got a really well-themed log flume as well. As you can see, Mimi T-shirt, it's not exactly <laughs> T-shirt weather, though. It is a little bit cold, but hopefully it warms up later on today. Um, because we're with the European Coaster Club as well, we get a discount on the tickets. Um, I did email the park um, and I've had no reply on them. So as of POVs and things, I have no idea, but I'm just got to wig it. I'll put the chest harness on anyway and give it a go, see what happens. So yeah, join us for the day here at Tato Park. So we got our tickets and I can't wait to ride a giant Irish woody. It looks amazing. Like I said, I've only ever done two other gravity group coasters before, which was uh, Mind Blower in Florida and Wood Express. There we go. So hopefully we should have our tickets waiting for us as well. Oh, it's nice in here. Yeah, there's plans to build a hotel and everything as well, like a big expansion for the park. Obviously, I'll give you details and stuff as we're walking around. These are opening times. It's open pretty much throughout the whole year. You can see it's open till December. So yeah, here we go. Right, that was nice and easy. We're in. Um, yeah, because Charlotte emailed the park saying we were with the Coaster Club. And um, if you may email them first, they do have your wristbands ready for you, which was all right for her. Like I said, I emailed them twice. They never even got back to me. Never mind. We're in the park now. The Kuka Lane is just sat there and uh, yeah, I'm just like I said with POVs, I've got to wing it, I've just got to stick it on anyway, see what happens. But it looks amazing, looking forward to this, it's a, it's a huge coaster. If anything, it's on the scale of Troy and it looks like it's walk-on. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> There's a big queue just down at the bottom, I'm looking at the wrong side here. So yeah, we've, we've got in the park. Saved about 10 euros, I think, um, in total. So yeah, we're in Ireland, so it's not part of the UK. It is euros. We've also hired a car as well. How much was the car hire, Martin? 33 pounds. That doesn't include the 2,000 pound deposit. No, it does, sort of. Yeah. No, I bought the extra insurance for 11 pounds. So if we have to spend on it, right. you get it back, right. So bear that in mind. But saying that, I don't think the taxes are that expensive either because we saw we've 
we, we stayed in South End last night. Uh, we got the uh, the flight from South End Airport this morning. Toilets, and uh, we flew into Dublin. Took about an hour. These two flew from Manchester, so because they it's in that area, 45 minutes. 45 minutes for them. And uh, yeah, so we're here. We've got the car hire. Dead easy. Dead simple. It what? It didn't even take. 20 minutes to get here, was it? 15 minutes or something like that? 20 minutes on the line. Dead yeah. easy. Yeah, yeah, and you, you, you guys have been before, although yeah. you didn't get on much. Yeah. Two, <laughs> two rides. Two, two rides. rides. Power surge and air race. So right, it. and how was it? Closed. So we've got the, um, I take it this is the... Sort of entrance, it takes you to another yeah. area and the entrance is on the right. Yeah, it looks amazing this. I reckon it's going to be quite slow right now. Early yeah, early. early in the day. So hopefully if it's not too busy, get to Saturday today. And uh, yeah, we should have a good day today. There's plenty of people with cameras vlogging and doing all sorts of stuff. And I also just want to say thank you very much for the um, support. I've just, well, I'm just saying just, Thursday morning reached 20,000 subscribers. It's actually at the moment nearly 20,100, something like that. So big thank you to everyone. I did also actually get, me, get myself some merch. I got some t-shirts made up. I don't know if some of you follow me on Instagram. I did post some like t-shirts and some little cards. Well, I forgot I had the t-shirts. They were in my car and I got them out to obviously bring wear today. And uh, they, were, they need washing and they're a bit of a, a bit of a mess. They're creased up. So yeah, so in the future, I might, I might get some merch sorted out. If that's something you're interested in. Oh yeah. Some people there as posters. Oh god, yeah, it's one of them design. rail things, isn't it? You hang from, you hang from it. Yeah, not it's, a cred. it's not a cred, no. Not Definitely not a cred. Like I said, you've got quite a few flat rides and things. Looking at the map, it's not the biggest of theme parks at all. You've got that one behind me, Rotator, I think it's called. There's a few rides I probably won't bother going on. Yeah, you reckon? I reckon that'll be good. Yeah. As long as it doesn't Oh, is it the one that uh, Adventure Island's got? As long as it doesn't break an off when it's going around. Oh no, don't want that. Right, here we go. Let's get on some rides. Tato Park in Ireland. Oh, loving this theming around here. It looks great, yeah. I like dogs. Irish Wolfhound. Well, I'm guessing, yeah. We're in Ireland. Ooh, look at this. Cave theming. Yeah, 2015 the Gravity Group opened and uh, yeah, it's not a Gravity Craft. I know I've said Gravity Craft in the past. Charlotte might explain in a bit why it's not called Gravity Craft, but it's mainly to do with the European market. They had to change the name for it, but it is definitely a Gravity Group coaster. Like I said, the third one I've ever done and I have wanted to get on this for such a long time. Look at the size of it. It's massive. Look at the huge cattle pen. I'm, I'm guessing only a couple of trains worth there. We're straight on it. This looks amazing. Yeah, sad news as well. If you don't know about Tate or Park, they did actually file planning permission to build two new rides or two new coasters uh, that were supposed to be maybe opening next year. Um, unfortunately, the planning permission it failed. The, uh, the local people who live around here um sort of well i don't know complained if you will well, yeah they didn't didn't allow it because of the noise complaints although you'll hear when this goes round it's one of the noisiest coasters on the planet look at that banking up there well like a bit of banking looks amazing <laughs> um barclays that looks great
second to back row. Didn't say anything about the GoPro, so yeah, <laughs> happy days. I don't know what the guys will probably say the same thing. It's a bit slow. But can't wait for it to warm up later on. But yeah, not bad. Right, there you go. First ride on the Kuka Lane there. Yeah, uh, I don't know what to say. Well, basically, it, it's no Troy. It's, um, it's, it's, an, it's an interesting one. It's good, but first ride, yeah, very slow. Some of them crests of the hills, it was I thought it was going to stall, it was going that slow. But hopefully it'll uh, speed up later on. The park's looking to get a bit busier as well, looking at these people here. Um, but no, it was awesome. Um, yeah, it's a funny one. I mean, like I said, I've only done three. That's the third gravity group I've ever, I've ever done. The first one I ever did was Mind Blower, and that thing's just bonkers. And then we went obviously to Europe, uh, not so long ago, we did um, Wood Express at Park St. Paul. That was fantastic. That was a really good, solid little coaster. That was massive. The first drop was good. There's some good bits of air time on it. That banking on that right and turn is amazing. You put your arms up, you can pretty much touch the floor. It's brilliant. But it was just, yeah, it just needs to warm up a bit. Just thought it was a bit slow, that was all. But no, it was a good coaster. Glad that we've come out here and done it. So that's it, another one ticked off the list. Right around here you've got Eagle Sky, which is basically a rock climbing wall. There's no way I'm getting on there. And the, uh, where's the zip wire at? I thought that was the zip, they've got rid of it. It was from the top of there, yeah, yeah, the zip wire's gone. All oh, right, well, the other thing's there, isn't it, on the other side? And you've got this slide here. So uh, new for this year is, um, Flight skill, which is why we're probably got. Oh, it's, it's just here, which is the Zero uh, Force, I think it is. Um, yeah, which is just in here. Not doing the slide. Well, no. What did you What did you think to the Kuka Lane? Um, I liked the first half. The second half, it was really slow. It's probably not my favourite. No. I've been on quite a few gravity groups now yeah. as well. Ravine Fly is better. Really. But what well, about uh, Twister at Gronalum? That looks good. It's good, but I still prefer like Oscar's Wacky Taxi and Wood Express to yeah. that. So, um, but no, Ravine Fly is well good and obviously the Voyage is my favourite. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ravine Fly and the Voyage have both got PTC trains, which I think, I feel they run faster. Yeah, because they're so, all heavier, aren't yeah. they? Maybe when it's warmed up. And yeah, we'll give it another go it. later. Yeah, it is far, rather windy today. Right, here we go. Entrance to... Uh, what was it? Flight school. I got to forget the name then. Yeah, it's basically like themed to like a little airport. You've got all like the departures and stuff there, which is quite funny. Yeah, um, funny thing is, I was... No, it's a coaster. Lisa thought it was an upside down ride. Definitely not this one. Um, yeah, when it first opened, it was a two lap special. I think, does it only go around the once now? No, they changed it back to five. 
it is back to twice right it's back to twice again so yeah i got messaged by a friend a lot of little shout out dave stone there you go he's a regular of this park he messaged me this morning saying can you have a shout out there you go he said it was on a two lap special then he went to one and then he put it back to two again so this opened this year apparently it's um yeah it's a bit mucky on that wall it's a bit mooky there you go, you got your departures there. Oh, this looks great. Yeah, it's only a little one, really. Two lap special. great little coaster this is yeah this is at zero force they've only ever made two, uh, four of these great little layout Whoa, bit of hand time on the front Woo! wow brilliant really smooth yeah, I love that, it's brilliant. Right, there you go, that was flight school. Really enjoyed that, actually. That was, well, as of yet, as of now, I think that was better than the Kuka Lane, as, as, a, as a little coaster goes. That was fantastic, it was really smooth. Great little layout on it, uh, like Helix, a couple of little trick tracky sort of sections to it. Great hang time on the first drop. Again, I know I review a lot of these little sort of children's coasters, family coasters, but they're just as thrilling as the big stuff. It's really good. I, I really enjoyed that. That was a great little coaster, was that? Nice little theming to it as well. Although saying that, only legal to it. They're playing pop music inside there. That would have been better if it had a bit like a bit of theme music to it and to say it opened only a few months ago as well it looked a bit looked a bit scruffy in places but no it was very good I, I enjoyed that a good little coaster that great addition to the park as well better than icon better than icon no, it wasn't not quite right other than other rides we've got here uh, there's another coaster which is the ladybird uh, the little SPF visa which is down here somewhere I'm looking forward to the Chris Factory. Tour. The Chris Factory, yeah. We get a free, free packet of Chris when we leave as well. What's now though? What about now? Now? Chris now? Lunchtime. Still early. But yeah, it's a nice little park. It's, it's lovely. Uh, my, my cap's going on again in a minute. Well, no, here's, uh, here's your Mr. Potato. Oh, awesome. It's a nice little park. It's warming up a bit as well now. Yeah, lovely. This is quite cute. I had to stop and film this. Um, like little bugs houses. Like made out of tree trunks. They're oh, great, them. Yeah, I think we're walking over to do the last uh, coaster credit here, which is, like I said, the little SPF Visa spinning coaster. Done quite a lot of them now. 
and they're actually not too bad. Um, people go, oh yeah, I'm not going on there, it's a kids coaster, but they're, not, they're all right. Raccoons. Was it raccoons? The ones we saw last week. Oh yeah. Ah, ah. oh yeah, yeah, they are, aren't they? Yeah. Pretty no, much. Yeah, Where did we, what was it called? Beal. Like... Yeah, that was it. I didn't film a vlog, Party. but last Bank Holiday Monday, we, we went to a place called Beal Park. Um, yeah, basically, out of the blue, uh, friend Tom Barnes, he uploaded a video to his channel, Barney Tours, and uh, yeah, it was Beale Park. I'm like, never heard of it. It's in Reading. That's the way we live. I think I drove past the signs for it quite a few times. So I thought of Bank Holiday Monday. Again, we didn't really know what to do. I didn't want to go to a park because so you can see it all over social media. People start moaning about how rammed it is at parks. Don't go at Bank Holiday weekend. Um, so yeah, we just went to Beale Park. It's basically, basically just like a little country park. It was lovely. Nice gardens, some animals to look at. And there was a train as well. I didn't, I didn't vlog it. There was just wasn't enough there to film. But it was a nice day out. It was all right. While we're walking past it, we go on the train. Little choo-choo train. That's Thor. Thor, yay! Oh, lovely train. into that one so that's the last cred we need to get yeah so from what we've seen so far it's a lovely little park like i said i've wanted to come here for years but while there was only the kooka lane here i just didn't see the point in coming when there was only one coaster and a a few little flat rides obviously i wanted to wait until they added some more stuff so obviously they've got the two other coasters here now and they keep adding stuff to it like i said earlier it's a bit of a shame that they've sort of been denied uh, planning permission for these two new coasters they were both built by the coma and uh, they were going to be basically what's a polders park so uh, a family suspended coaster and a family boomerang as well but like inter intertwining with each other so hopefully they can uh, sort that out and get that built. There's another climbing wall just there as well. A little kids area. A little self-propelled swing, a little bouncing frogs. Yeah, it looks like it. Obviously go around the potato factory later and see the crisps. Crisps being made. Nice little track. I don't think it goes very far though. Zamperla rocking tug over there. That's it. <laughs> wasn't it? It wasn't even three minutes. Excellent. Yeah, the train wasn't too bad. Very short, uh, but it was only a little one. So. Uh... <laughs> yeah. What's he like? Huh? Uh, right, so yeah, I just thought I'd get a bit of footage of this map here. So we've obviously come through the entrance down here. Kuka Lane Coaster, or that's how you pronounce it. We, I don't think anyone knows how to say it. Then you've got the Air Race, Rotator, 5D Cinema, we'll check out later. Flight School, uh, the Endeavour. It's basically Dreamcatcher at uh, Dreamland. Another little thing there, Vortex Tunnels, which I think they've moved because they were at the uh, Chris Factory. Uh, log flume, dinosaurs, bit of a zoo. The zoo actually looks bigger than the theme park. Train ride and caterpillar. What are you, what are you doing? What's up there, Martin? 
What's up there? Mr. Potato. Mr. Potato? Or Mr. Tato, whatever. I'm, I'm not saying it yet. I'm saving it for the for later. There you are, Mr. Potato up there. Hi. Right, let's go and get the last credit, which is the. the later, later, Charlotte. She's dying to say it. I know it. I think we're all dying to say it. No, we're not. I am. If you watch the Keith Leatherman show, Celebrity Juice, then you know what we'll probably be going to be saying in a bit. But I'm, uh, I'm saving it for later. So yeah, it's basically the kids' area. I think this is about it, isn't it, for the theme park? Yeah, there's... Go, well, yeah, for the ride. But there's the loads ride. Of it's quite cute around here. So you got the drop tower there. Oh, that's better. The bag's on my shoulders now. Drop tower. Rocking tug that's called Rocking Tug. It's on Perla One. That's cute. The little Ferris wheel. That little bugs. You got the uh, coaster just there, climbing wall. That's about it, really. Quite a few. Seen a few of these like sweet shops and ice cream stalls. But yeah, I hope you're enjoying this vlog today. Yeah, it's alright, it's a nice little park, it's cute. Gotta get the cred now. Ladybird loop. So that's it, final cred of the day. And as um, theme parks go in Ireland, this is pretty much it. What's. Stop it. What's the other one called up in Northern Ireland? Is it Barry's? I think it's called Barry's, isn't it? No, not Barry's. Comment down below, I've forgotten. What's it called? Northern Ireland? Is it? No, the, the park. It's in Northern Ireland. Hold on. There's a there's a there's a cred there in there. And there's a and there's a ghost train as well. Oh, it's nice this. He's looking, he's looking for the creds. Creds. I'll let you know in a minute. I spent some time at Fancy Island. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. While I'm talking, I've got the camera going. It is, it is Barry's Amusements. I just looked on the uh, roller coaster data booth, or was it Coast to Coast you looked on? One of the, one of the other two. There is another little park nearby actually, about half an hour ago, with a, with another caterpillar cred, which would take me to 398. Oh my god, you didn't get any laps on there, did you? Three. That was 30 seconds. Three laps. Three laps. Huh? Nah. We only need one. Yeah. One for the cred. Yeah, it looks alright. I like the theming on it. We went on one of these in America and got about 52 laps. Oh, yeah, yeah. You get, your, you get your laps with on them. And the other thing is, as well, obviously, when we did the Dorset Steam Fair and I thought I'd been on the Wild Mouse there, uh, I wasn't sure. I, I, yeah. I, Spy. Get it off. <laughs> Get it off. It's not on the list. I've definitely done it. It was Ice cheat, Mountain, obviously. Cheat, cheat, cheat. cheat. <laughs> he actually messaged me while we were there. I and messaged I you. Yeah, and I, I, messaged you. I messaged you. And I, and I couldn't read out what he said. He basically said, "Don't, don't write it as a cred." Um, he wasn't. <laughs> it was, yeah. <laughs> right, but this is definitely a cred. Now let's get on it. That was a bit. Hello. Coaster crazy. crazy. You're on the telly now, yeah, yeah. Woo, give us a wave. <laughs> right, here we go on Ladybird Loop. <laughs> yeah. There they are. <laughs> yeah, we've been stood watching it. You only get three laps on this one. I'm at the front now. Whee! Yeah, they're pretty good, these FPS spinners. I, I quite like them. They're a bit more intimidating than they look, and there's loads of room on them. I like the theming, that's great. And one more lap, and that's it. Oh, that's it, that's it. <laughs> How long? Oh, a minute. Yeah, not bad. All three credits are done. Let's go on some other rides now and check out the rest of the park.
Right, off we go on the pony rail. It's called pony rail because it's a pony on a rail. <laughs> Get yourselves on it. Yeah, it's a nice little park. It is technically a family park, really. Not really for the thrill seekers. Um, like there is, you know, obviously the Kooka Lane or Kook 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 Kookulun, I think it's pronounced. This is quite a cute little thing. Got a big layout on it. <laughs> yeah, I'll pretty much show you most of the park. I don't think there's any construction footage or anything like that to show you. Yeah, like it's a shame really, isn't it? When parks are trying to evolve and obviously get a name for themselves, get themselves on the map and uh, obviously build new attractions and they can't because the local people are like oh no it's too you can't build coasters it's too noisy it's this like the other you live near a theme park <laughs> what do you expect it's quite nice this it's all right it's another ride <laughs> yeah fun little ride there on pony rail not pony trail pony rail Right, next up we're going through a vortex tunnel just here. Probably won't see much in here. Oh, you can. Oh, it's picking that up quite well, actually. Oh, that's quite surprising. Oh. Uh. oh, leaning the other way now. That's quite good, that. Oh, it's making me feel sick. Right, as you can see from the quite large factory over there, we're going to the uh, Tato factory where we, obviously they make the crisps. It's the what? Da da crowd, oh, I wish. So, yeah, we just crossed the road and we're going to the uh, potato factory. There, yeah, I got it in. That's it now, that's it now, no more. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to the uh, Tato factory. And uh, yeah, not really know what's in here. Obviously, it's just a factory making crisps. But it's all it's all included in your wristbands. And uh, yeah, I forgot to mention as well, you can actually pay uh, just to come in to the park. You don't have to go on the rides. I think it was about 18 euro, something like that. And this is included. It's not. You'd have to uh, get a wristband for it. Yeah, remember to look down. Themed factory experience. <laughs> yeah, that was the thing actually. When I first ever went to um, Cadbury World in Birmingham, I thought it might be something like this, you know, with some rides. I know it's got a dark ride, but I thought it might have a bit more to it. But uh, yeah, this is great. It's basically, obviously, the fact Chris factory. Projection mapping flooring. It's basically the uh, Chris factory, and they've added the theme park to it. The park was over open in 2015, so it's not that old. Got some windows and things here. Oh, it is all working. <laughs> oh, the floor vibrates. So yeah, anyone that lives obviously lives in England, you got the Walkers crisps. 
This is basically the Irish version. I think this might be older than Walker's, if, uh, if I'm honest. Um, I have to read up on it if there's some information. Yeah, I like the uh, projection mapping. It looks great. Ah, oh, awesome. That's pretty cool, isn't it? You haven't missed much, trust me. I turned the camera off, it was all around that corner there. And then uh, obviously there's all this round here as well. Story of Tato downstairs. Some interactives in here, Tato Sphere. Oh God, yeah, look at that. That's trippy, that. Whoa. That's pretty cool. What's at the end of there? Crisps. Factory. <laughs> Factory. Ooh. Boxes. That's what's down there. Smells like, a, smells like a farm down here. Oh, it smells of the to <laughs> toilet. That's what I could smell. It does stink, that, doesn't it? Uh, oh, there you are. In 1968, Tato opened its first potato storage facility. Uh, I don't know really. I'll probably have to Google it really to see what when it actually started. Potato 50. But yeah, it's all right. That's I think that's pretty much it. There's the exits just here. Potato factory experience. I think there's some more Vortex tunnel. Yeah, it stinks in there. I don't know why the toilets at the end of there. I'll just leave him. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Right, so we've literally just cut, crossed back over the road. Factory tour, it was all right. You know what I mean? It was just like a bit of an experience. You look through a couple of windows, you can see the factory. It's no Cadbury's World or anything like that. It's basically just a factory where they make crisps. Unfortunately, they don't give out free crisps anymore. It used to be a thing. When you entered the park, they used to give you like a, a multi bag of, of crisps. Um, the girl, when we actually came in, she did say you get a pack when you leave the park. I've just asked the lady there, she said you don't get them at all. They don't give you any. A pack, park. When you leave the park, you get a pack. Pack of the park, the park, park of the pack. You know what I mean? Yeah, apparently they've stopped doing it all together. So I think we've got to get a drink from here, pizza place. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he's looking at the thing. Yeah, Tato! <laughs> so this is not bad at all. Uh, 20 euros, you get a full pizza, full-size pizza, which obviously we've got to share between four of us. And you get four drinks as well, and it's not just like a little cup of, of Coke or whatever, it's full bottle, so that's not too bad. It's just Coke, Fanta, Pep, you know, uh, Sprite, that sort of thing. This is quite nice as well. Bit of a bit of a river there. <laughs> bit of a river with a fountain just there as well. No, oh, it's a nice park. We're actually quite lucky that we've got nice weather as well. It was actually forecast to be raining, but it's all right at the moment. It's all right. So I'll have this pizza and then uh, obviously get on some more rides. But this little seating area is quite nice. So let's wait for our pizza and uh, have a drink. <laughs> oh, mm. Well, these bobob trees are different looking. They have really wide trunks. I know mine is pretty wide, but they are even wider. Look, 
Apparently he's got a wide trunk. Keep it friendly on her. <laughs> yeah, the uh, pizza was very nice. We just basically had a, a cheese pizza and shared it between four of us. So we got like two slices each. It was really nice actually. I do like pizza and uh, I've still got some of the drink left. Oh, well, they're quite nice. And, uh, what are they, wind chimes or something are they called? It's lovely around here. You got the lodge. Is that the hotel? I think that's that. Mine, is that the hotel that they built? It, that's the restaurant. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, the talking tree with his big branch. Mr. Barker. Mr. Barker with his big branches. Yeah, we'll have a walk around like the zoo and stuff like that. And we'll go on a few more rides. There isn't actually that many rides here, if I'm honest. There's a few of the uh, spin and spews. I'll probably go on the Endeavour or whatever it's called. Like the uh, the new style Enterprise. I'm not going on Air Race and I'm not going on Rotator. Uh, we'll do the log flume for the cred. And then uh, go back on the Kukulan a few more times. Just basically want to try and get on as much as we can because it'll be a while before we return to this park. Uh, when it's second what four years to get here as it is i'll be having one of these uh, potato twizzler things as well that they do at eftelin i don't know if you can see it as we walk past potato twizzlers are amazing i'll be having one of them probably an ice cream or something as well it's nice it's a nice park there's a nice feel to it it's a good sized children's park just here as well oh it's quite good what have we got around here oh the tato park party bus it's nice yeah, it's a nice park. I like the saying as well, we actually got some pretty decent cheapish flights over here with Ryanair. Check on like Skyscanner or something like that, or like an official website. Um, it wasn't too bad at all. I know the Martin and Charlotte's flight from Manchester was pretty cheap as well. They obviously flew with Ryanair as well. And um, yeah, it like, took an hour to get here. It was actually for us personally, it was quicker to get here because obviously we stayed overnight in South End quicker to get here than it was to say got a Alton Towers for the day a lot cheaper as well like I say it was about 30 it was about 38 euros or something but with the European Coaster Club it was 25 euros so it was a bargain so we're into the uh, zoo now yeah I won't be showing you too much of the zoo just some highlights and things what have you seen? Ah, uh, raccoons! Proper ones as well. Opposed to the ones that we saw earlier. I've never actually seen a real raccoon. <laughs> uh, what? When I used to holiday in Mexico, raccoons would come up into the room really? and ask yeah. for food. Oh, really? stand there with their hands out asking for food like that. Oh. I've got loads of pictures of well. Oh. Yeah, I like raccoons. Yeah, they're sneaky little critters. Yeah, there's one down there. Come on! Oh, the uh, raccoons were gorgeous. Really cute looking little animals. Got some jackals in here. Well, there's one. It's, it just keeps running around. I don't know where it's gone. It's over there somewhere now. But uh, this area, it's all about the twisted chip which are these things over here. They, they sell in, uh, I think we had Eftelin at Christmas time a couple of years ago. These, oh yes. Cheese and onion flavor, salt and vinegar, sour cream, three euros. They also do like the sausage there, artisan sausage. I never, never had one of them. Milkshakes, three euros. Yes. I'm not even sure if we get, eh? Huh? What using my money? My money, yeah. I'll fail. I'll fail. I do. I do. We need to owe him back for the car hire. Bank of Europe. Bank of Europe. Yeah, my money. Thank you. My my euro. My euro. My euro. Right, twisted chip. Uh, I don't know. Cheese and onion. I mean, what did we have after? Was it some barbecue flavour? Oh, meerkats are everywhere, aren't they? It's all about the twisted chip. Alright, so here's your big bowl of potatoes and then your stick. And basically, yeah, they put this potato on the stick 
and it goes through this machine here and they turn a handle and it's basically does that to them and you can just sort of figure it out it's just like yeah unravels and then they fry it and then they put whatever you want on the top salt and vinegar and uh, sweet and sour, not sweet and sour, sweet, what is it, sour? Sour cream. Sour cream, that's the one, sour cream. Oh yeah, lovely. Oh yeah. Mmm. Yeah, I've got myself cheese and onion flavour. Now yeah, I was just saying to Martin, we went to Efteling at Christmas time, they did these, I don't think they were as big as this one, but they did them fresh for you. Um, and they did all sorts of different, cinnamon and barbecue, all sorts of different flavours. And um, the, because they were fresh, they, did, they, they, were, they were warm. These are they're, they're pretty cold because they've been sat there for a while, but they're nice. It's all right, three euros for that, it's brilliant. Got the meerkats over here as well. Oh, there's just bits of crisps everywhere. Uh, so we found some savage animals around here. These animals may bite. Ah, it's good. I'm going to give it some crisp. Yum, 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 yum. Yum. Oh, I dropped his crisp. Quick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wasps. Ah. Wasps. Run away.
right there you go front row ride on the uh Kukulin and uh, brilliant absolutely fantastic so much better on the front now it's warmed up it's been going for a few hours now so much better on the front it's brilliant it's, it sort of pushes you over the hills i don't know where it sits in terms of me woodies if it was obviously a lot quieter at the park i'd go on it a lot more uh because other than the what we're going on next which is the viking voyage the uh, the log flume there isn't really much else to go on you've got like the the a few few flat rides and things over here but i'm not really into flat rides i'll give the endeavor a go um and that's about it really so yeah we're doing the log flume we've got to give it a go <laughs> okay, we're Where? Gonna cry. What child? Why ponchos? I think we should go on that. Why ponchos? We've got to do it, haven't we? Too we're here, aren't we? Yeah. Um, I actually asked the staff on the um, on the coaster there. I said, "Has he got two trains?" It's like it does have two trains, but he said it's not that busy. Although we've just done that, and from pretty much entering the queue line to finishing and getting off the ride, it was about 40 minutes. We was in the queue line for about half an hour, and he said it's not busy. Uh, no, you're right. He said he wasn't busy. He said they only put on two trains when it's an hour queue, which to me is, mm, it should be on two trains anyway. If it's got two trains, it should be on two trains. Like I said, we waited about, well, half an hour to get on it and then whatever it took to get around. But no, really good solid wooden coaster. If I'm honest, it's probably one of the best in Europe. I don't know where it sits, you know, in me, in me, in me woodies. Um, for me, it's better, it's better than Wicker Man. It's got more of a layout. I love that layout. I love that bank turn where you pretty much, it's pretty much an inversion. It's fantastic. On the front, you get pushed over the hills. It's got a lot, it's got quite a bit of airtime on there. But again, if I'm honest, I'm not really keen on these Gravity Group uh, timber liners. Much prefer the Millennium Flyers uh, that you get on the GCI coaster with a little lap bar. These, you've got like a thing that you can't really see on the POV, but it comes across your chest. Or like you, you know, and they're a bit constrictive. So you got any airtime, you're not really going anywhere. So these have all got ponchos because they're soft. It's cold. But Northern, it's yeah. warm now, isn't it? It's well. I'm a bit. I'm at How much for ponchos? Two, two euros. Two euro. Yeah. So what about one pound fifty or something? Isn't it, that? One pound ninety. One ninety. <laughs> one ninety. <laughs> two ten. Two ten. Are they? Right. Let's go. Bit of a uh, bit of theming in this queue line. I won't film the whole thing. I've seen it before and it could take you about 10 minutes just to walk around it all. I think I'm going the right way. I don't think I am. Where's the entrance? Oh, it's here. 30 minute wait time from this point. Oh, there we go, where it says there. Uh... Right. Uh, wristbands there. Right? Yeah, wristbands. Yeah. <laughs> right, off we go. Let's see how wet we're going to get. Probably soccer. This looks great, actually. It's, yeah, the uh, the log flume, themed, obviously to like Vikings and things. Looks all right. Look like the little huts and things. Brilliant theme in here. Sound the horn. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, I think this opened a couple of years ago as well. One of the big investments they had at the park. So like I was saying before, like the uh, the other two coasters we've done and this log flew, and there wasn't really much here, so there wasn't really much point coming. Um, although, like saying, cheap flight, an hour to get here, 15, 20 minutes from the airport. Not too bad, you get a taxi if you, if you can share it. It's not too expensive. Some more themed and... Brilliant. Lovely day as well now. Right, here we go. I could have actually mounted the GoPro oh, yeah. on the top of here. There's two mounts on the top of there. I could have asked them. They probably would have let me. Famous. I'm not famous. They didn't even bother emailing me back. 
Well, yeah, obviously filming on the rides is allowed. Chest mounted GoPros. Just don't use your phones. The theming's brilliant on there. Oh, I'm gonna get soaking wet on here, aren't I? And there's a seat. There's no lap bars or anything. There's a seat belt that's digging in. Oh, there we are. I've loosened it a bit. Yeah, no music. Yeah, <laughs> choo choo train. Who's it made by? Super Flume. Made in EU Project Island, year 2017. I'm reading it down here. Six people per boat. There's speakers around the side, but there's no there's no audio coming out of them. Oh, put me put my feet up there. Look. <laughs> Oh, here we go. I think there's two drops on this. Three? Three? Is there really? Oh no. I'm gonna go where are? Socking. It's soaking. Yeah. Oh, look at that drop here. Oh, my God. Oh, oh wow. Ah. <laughs> ah. Here we go. Oh yeah! Nice. I am. Just turn you off for a second. Oh, I'll just wipe you. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that was just a sprinkle. Just a little sprinkle. Oh, backwards drop. There's a turntable up there. You alright, mate? Eh? No, you're not on it. I <laughs> would have done his hair. Wow, I like this. It's just a shame, I was just saying, there's, there's no audio. The speakers around the ride, but there's just no audio. It's not on. Backwards. Lisa sat in the back, she's got to get wet. <laughs> it's like Valhalla. <laughs> I can hear her shouting no. <laughs> she just said something else. Here we go. Backwards drop. Wetter than Valhalla. Ah! Ah, that was nothing. Did you get wet? Yeah. A bit. She said a bit. Nothing. There was nothing that. Oh, look, there's some water jets there. They're not on. Uh, mine. Water jets, they're not on either. Martin. <laughs> Do I sound like Charlotte? Martin. Does, what, does Charlotte say that? Martin. No, it's Martin. Martin. Are you okay here? Hello? Yeah, all right there. <laughs> Happy days. Going backwards? It's a long ride, we've been on it nearly five minutes. Yeah. Theming. There's another guy there. Yeah, no filming on the rides. Yeah, 
Yeah, we will. Seaming. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, amazing seaming in here. What did you say? It's like sheer pass. It's no sheer pass. No, it's definitely not. I've got a feeling we might get wet on this bit. Yeah, there's the high rops course thing. That's like a, a what are they called then? The sky climbers, yeah. Doesn't appear to be open today. Yeah. Oh god. We're gonna have to hold on with this one. Wow, look at the uh, awesome themed roof there. It hasn't got one. Oh, it's a huge drop! Oh no! Here we go! Ah! Ah! Oh no! Oh, not too bad! He says. Oh no, I'm soaked. Oh, so did mine, Martin. Oh, are you wet? So much water came into the face, thank you. Oh, I'm soaking. Yeah, I'm not. It's not too bad. Yeah, good ride. Uh, like I say, shame about the audio. But yeah, not bad. Not a bad log flume that. Well themed, nice, relaxing. Couple of drops on it. It's all right. Right. So the uh, log flume was great, actually. Viking splash. Uh, cheers, Martin. <laughs> what did you think to the log flume, Charlotte? It's good, it's just a shame there's no music. There's no audio there. at all. I asked the staff and she said, a technically, technically difficulty or something, yeah, te technical difficulties. Well, there was no, there was a black ceiling, <laughs> there was not much theming, yeah. it was a bit falling apart. I expected it to be a lot better. Yeah, than what I yeah, definitely. But then what I kind of got told about it, I remember it opening, everyone roaring about right, it. Right, yeah. It was amazing. I think the queue line's yeah, the queue line's pretty really good. good, yeah. yeah. Just like I said, it's a shame there's no audio. So next up we're going on, I believe it's called Endeavour. I was just saying to Charlotte, it's, it's, stop it. <laughs> They're saying it's very similar to the one they've got at Dreamland in Margate. But that's a travelling version, this is a fixed permanent version. Plus it's also, it's got two seats next to each other. The one at Dreamland's a single seat. So yeah, next up is Endeavour. Well, I think it's called that. And then we might try as another flat ride out over there. And that's pretty much it for the park, to be honest. There's a few other flat rides around the park, but we've pretty much done everything here now, apart from the couple of rides here. Try and have a few more goes on the Kukuland later, because it's pretty good. Is it going? Oh, here we go. Right, here we are on Endeavour, just me and Martin on this one. Like I say, it's slightly different to um, Dreamcatcher at Dreamland in Margate. We're actually two and two, well you can see there, there's like four, four cars or four seats together. Whereas Dreamcatcher is just single, single chairs. It's just basically a modern version of an Enterprise. I quite like Enterprises, they're, they're quite a nice feeling. If you're not really into intense flat rides, these sort of things are all right. Oh, blood's rushing to my feet. It is creaking a bit. <laughs> Woo! Oh, get that WD-40 out. Oh, yeah! Oh! Woo! 
pretty good, isn't it? Woo! Look at me! <laughs> you look sideways, it doesn't feel like great. Woo! Oh, you can really feel it on your legs. We're going down already. Oh, my feet are tingling. <laughs> Woo! I think that's enough, really. Yeah, quite a short cycle. Oh, my... My legs feel really heavy. The bottoms of the seats are horrible. Yeah, digging in a bit, aren't they? Oh. That was brilliant, that was it. Endeavour. <laughs> right, there you go. On ride footage of uh, Endeavour. It was, it was all right. It, was, it, was, it wasn't a bad ride. Um, yeah, it was all right. I don't, I don't have really much to say about it. I mean, yeah, once it got going, your feet started to tingle a bit. Bit of a short cycle on it, but no, it was all right. It's, it eats the queues anyway, because when we queued up, we were back here somewhere and it's, it can fill a lot of people up. There's another ride here, it's like the um, like the hang gliders, so we probably won't bother with that one. And there's another couple more uh, flat rides as well, which we probably won't bother with. But they've also got the, another vortex tunnel here. Oh, this is what this is called, Windstar. So yeah, we'll do the vortex tunnel. Might get an ice cream or something, might even pop back to the kids section. There's like the little drop tower and a few of the little things there. And then just probably uh, go on the uh, Kuka land for a while. Chipboard the ride. Oh, it's just the same as the other one. So later on when we entered the park, we walked past this here, Dunk. And Lisa's like, oh, I've got to get one of these. Um, so basically you get your ice lolly and you can dunk it, you can top it, you can drizzle it, do all sorts of stuff. And this is what she's gone for, like a homemade style. So it's a white chocolate with marshmallows, chocolate balls, Maltesers, Maltesers uh, sparkly Maltesers. unicorns, chocolate okay. drizzle. Yeah, oh, it looks alright that. Yeah, so you can eat it. And they were, how, when, how much was it? Four, four euros 95. Four, four 95. Oh, there you go, with any three toppings. So, yeah, basically, you can pick pick ones that are already done. You can have Dunkin' Donuts, or Dunk a Donut. All these different types here. Look quite nice, actually, but uh, I'm not a massive fan of ice cream, if I'm honest. And then you've got all sorts of stuff. You've got marshmallows, chocolate blossoms. Such sugar unicorns, sprinkles, biscuit crumble. What are you having? Wasps. Plenty of wasps. Oh god. Oh. Yeah. Look at these bottles they've put them. Go away. Mini meringues, biscuits. Yeah. Look. Looks all right. Oh god. Look at that. Yum, yum. Final ride here on the Koo Cullen and it just started raining on the third row. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh. We should have waited. Who's down there soaking up behind you? Here we go.
was really painful. <laughs> Coasters in the rain are not fun. <laughs> hey, he's chucking it down now. Right, there you go. Final ride of the day on the uh, oh, Chuk Lane. Oh God, it's yeah, it's still sort of raining. That was painful. Any coaster in the rain, it's not a nice experience. Although it makes the coaster faster, you get a better ride. But it, oh, God, you can't see anything because it hits your eyes. It's yeah, not the most uncomfortable thing ever. Everyone's just standing out of the rain at the minute. It's it's not great. Uh, they're over there. Yeah, it's chucking it down. No, it was really good actually. Uh, yeah, th three rides on there now. Sort of a, I think it was on the like the fourth row on there. So I've done a front row, a back row. It's a pretty good coaster, in fact. It's probably one of the best in Europe. Is it a favourite coaster of mine? Hmm, I'm not sure. I'd, I'd, I would have liked to have gone on a few more rides. Coaster crazy. Coaster crazy. Hey, they're on the telly now. Um, yeah, I'll, there you go. Yeah, hey, Coaster Crazy, she's on the telly now. She's on YouTube. <laughs> so what we've got to do is now, we've actually found out there's another coaster nearby. Uh, it's another Caterpillar. Um, so we've got to go there to get the credits. Yeah, we're leaving this park a bit early because uh, we've pretty much been on everything. As you can see, it's raining now. It's not much fun going on rides in the rain. And um, yeah. It's been a good day. I'll get some footage of the shop where we walk out and get a, give you a highlight of the day. But it's been brilliant. All right, I'll just show you some footage of the shop. Actually, a really nice shop. We came in here just a minute ago to uh, get a drink and stuff. It's, Matt has already bought Charlotte some uh, Tato socks. But yeah, really nice shop in here. Boyfriend of the year, mate. Both Boyfriend of the year. But there's loads of stuff in here. There's uh, uh, Ku Cullen merch there's generic teddies and stuff we didn't actually see the dinosaurs there was a little dinosaur section yeah, we didn't see that chocolates there's, there's all sorts of stuff in here yeah we were we actually live in the park it's only it's only 20 past three i said the park's open till about seven o'clock it's it's emptying out quite a bit now because obviously the rain's coming people don't want to go on rides when it's raining uh let's show you what there is here really well, yeah, there's all sorts of stuff, Tato stuff, and yeah, there's all sorts of things. Sweets, and doesn't like the lighting in here either. It's all your yeah. cool, cool cooking mugs. Yeah, there's all sorts of stuff. Yeah, it's a really nice park. Uh, so we've got to go out the exit now, and uh, you get your crisp. Uh, collection as well where you get your free crisps they does say that but we were told that they don't give them out anymore so i don't really know i don't know what the crack is with that but no it's a really good park i really enjoyed it today would have come back again mm, probably not until they open some more coasters um like i said earlier in the vlog it's taken a while for me to actually come to this park anyway because there was just nothing here there was the, the wooden coaster and a couple of flat rides that was about it. So obviously, Charlotte and Martin came. They couldn't get on Kuka Lane because it was closed at the time. Um, but no, it's been really good. Really enjoyed it today. The sun's coming out again now. And uh, yeah, I don't know when I'll be back here. I know a few people that have been before and it, they haven't been back since for quite a while. Uh, that stopped raining now. But no, it's been really nice. I like the park, that's coaster. I'd say it was a top European coaster, definitely. Is it my favourite? No. It, I mean, it's not as good as Troy. Um, I'd say it was better than Wood Express, probably better than Wicker Man and a few others that I've been on, but really good wooden coaster. I really enjoyed that. There you are, the rides are there. Are. They're sending it now. Yeah, send it. Charlotte, what do you reckon to Tato Park? We're getting free crisps. We are getting free crisps, even though that woman before she told me that we lied. don't. She lied. Oh, do we need free parking? No, free parking, I think. What do you think, Charlotte? Um, You've been before. I've been before, but I'd only come when it had one coaster and nothing else here. Yeah. Not even that water ride was here. So, um, yeah, it's all right. It's not, um, it's not one of my favourite parks. No. But 
And um, now you've been and you've got on Coo the Coo Cullen, what do you think? Um, I actually really enjoyed it on the third time because that little bit of water on the track made <laughs> yeah. really speed through. Um, and I, if it was... Thank you, here we are. If it was as good as any of the others I've been on, like Ravine Flyer 2, yeah. I'd be happy. But it's still really good. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Well, where's it sit your, sitting your European coasters? I don't know. I don't know either, really. It, it's up there, I think. It's up there. But it, again, like I was just saying, we've had three rides on it, you can't really... It's better than Woden. Um, I don't know, I think you could be right, actually. Again, yeah, people go, oh, Woden's amazing. But yeah, the Woden's got the, the theming. But the actual coast is not amazing. That's brilliant, that was really good. Yeah, look at all the boxes of crisps there behind me. But uh, no, we're going now, we've got our free crisps. It's what we came for, free crisps. And um, yeah. What are they like? Who's eating them? Oh. They're all right, are they? Mm. Yeah, I'll take one. I'll take one of these instead of opening up. Oh, cheese and onion. Uh, well, they only had was cheese and onion. Oh, that's all they have. Yeah, probably the, the slowest selling line. That's why mm. they're giving them away. Do you know what? They taste exactly the same as Walkers back home. <laughs> crisps. Yeah, they're all right. So yeah, if you want free crisps, you like wooden coasters, and you like a few flat rides, and you like okay theming. Okay. Get yourself over to Tato Park. It's been really good. I think we've all enjoyed it. Obviously, Lisa and Martin don't really like being on the camera much, so I wouldn't bother with their opinions. But I think they enjoyed it as well. Yeah, I mean, looking at it now, it's it's amazing. It's a huge structure. If you do enjoy wooden coasters, I recommend coming and getting it. And there, are, there isn't really many wooden coasters left for me to ride in Europe now. We've done quite a lot of them. And it, it's, it's up there. I think it's up there with one of the best that I've been on. In fact, I'll probably say it was fourth, it fifth best. It's too long. No, it's, it's not. Too long. It's too long. It's, it slows up towards the end. It, it does. It, 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 well, it was the slow. It's well long, but that's not, that's not rubbish. It's never, a beast. Yeah, but it never does <laughs> momentum, does it? <laughs> no. Well, well, the Zeus, Zeus is well long, doesn't yeah. it? PTC yeah. trains. PTC trains. They're heavier, so it makes it faster, doesn't it? It loses its momentum. Yeah. It's slow over the hills towards the end. Right, anyway, I think we're off to go and find this other credit. Nah, get out! You never complain about this long We're off, we're going, that's it, end of the vlog. We're off to find this other credit now, it's another caterpillar. I doubt there's much there to even warrant filming a vlog. But you still will. But I might anyway, because it's an extra video that nobody else has filmed. Nobody's filmed it, Charlotte's right. Views. I might even show you the car we've hired as well for the day. Why? It's nice. Because it's nice. Nice car, it's nice motor. It's a quid, it's a bargain, yeah. Yeah, 38 quid, bargain. Well, 22. 22? But I paid 11 on top for the insurance. Ah, I paid 11 on top for insurance. It's just down here. Well, no, it's been a really good day. Hope you've enjoyed this vlog. If you have, leave a like and a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell for next time I upload a video. Uh, as of next weekend, I'm not sure what's going on. Tomorrow when we get home, I might nip to Basingstoke because carters are back at Basingstoke. I've not been to a carter steam fair for a few weeks, so it'll be good to get to, back to there. Not been for a few weeks. <laughs> I've, not been, uh, I've been to about seven or eight of them already. Where's the car at? Ah, oh, it's just down here. So yeah, I might go back to carters. I've really enjoyed it here. We, there was, like I said, there was a few things that we didn't see. We come for the rides. You know what the channel's about. We come for the rides. We don't bother with shows and things like that. So it's all about the rides and the coasters the and the crisps. We come for free crisps. Come for make your own ice lollies. Yeah, make ice lollies. Ice make the ice lollies. I need to put my sunglasses back on here. Oh, look at this. Beauty. Eww, not bad. So yeah, the top tips are get yourself over to Tater Park, but get a few, get a, get a few. Visit the park. Yeah, just visit the park. Just get here. Just get yourselves here. Um, put flights. Put flights. Get you, get yourselves over to Tater Park. Like I said, I probably wouldn't rush back. I'd probably say the typical now, ride that coaster till the afternoon. Till the afternoon, just ride that coaster all day on its own. Anyway, I'm gonna go now. I'll see you later. Bye for now.